How to install PVC cladding panels Difficulty level 1 hammer Suitable for walls and ceilings, PVC cladding panels are quick and easy to install as they are joined using tongue and groove connections. Some models, as here, are lockable on all four sides. These designer objects are available in a single color, a concrete effect or a number of wood effect finishes. This wall cladding adds an elegant finish and is suitable for use in damp areas like bathrooms. You will need some battens, some hammer-in wall plugs, some 10mm plywood to make wedges, staples, MS polymer adhesive, PVC cladding panels, and finishing strips. You will need a tape measure, a pencil, a pair of scissors, a set square, a jigsaw, workbench, a stapler, a sealant gun, a metal ruler, a hammer, and an SDS hammer drill and bit. Make sure you wear safety goggles and protective gloves. Your wall is damaged. If the surface of your wall is uneven or damaged, making it unusable with adhesive, construct a framework out of a set of parallel battens. They should be positioned at right angles to the line of panels every 30 centimeters in staggered rows to ensure a good circulation of air behind the PVC panel. In our case, the PVC panels are horizontal and so the battens will be fixed vertically using hammer-in wall plugs. Check the battens are vertically aligned with each other and correct any vertical misalignment of the wall with small wedges placed behind the battens. Old tiling. If your wall is in good condition or there is old tiling on it, you must ensure that the surface is free of grease and dust. Wash the old paintwork or the tiling. For the tiling, we recommend you rub the tiles with a grease removing product to ensure that the adhesive sticks perfectly. You should lay your PVC panels out flat on the ground 48 hours before installing them to allow the material to adapt to the room conditions. Initial edging strip. When you don't intend to cover the adjacent wall with panels, fix edging strips. Use a universal edging strip, suitable for all applications. Cut a length to fit from ground to ceiling using kitchen scissors. Squeeze a bead of MS polymer adhesive on top of the pattern in the corner of the wall. Then fold the edging strip into a right angle as you gradually push it into the corner. Press firmly on the edging strip. Then staple in place every 30 centimeters. At ceiling and ground level. You should also use universal edging strips at the edge of the ceiling and the floor. Stick it in place using MS polymer adhesive and staple it into the batten. After you finish, the edging strip can be folded to make the finishing edge at the top of the wall. The first row. Aesthetically, it looks better to start laying the panels at the top of the wall to have a complete straight line from the ceiling. But you can start from the floor if you prefer. Remove the protective backing from the adhesive strip on the edging strip on the ceiling. Pull off 40 cm from the side edging strip. Position the first panel on the universal edging strip, tongue facing down for the clips, and press down hard to make it stick. Immediately, attach a clip to each of the battens of the framework. Push the clip up inside the groove of the PVC panel and secure with the screws provided. Position the next panel. Make sure the two ends are connected and press down against the universal strip. At the end of the row, measure the gap and mark the panel. Using a set square, mark the panel and cut it to fit with the jigsaw. Fix the last panel of the row using the same technique. The next rows. When starting the second row, the remaining offcut must be at least 15 cm long. Position the offcut edge to edge with the panel in the row above and push it into the corner to make contact with the side edging strip. The next panels should slide together, end to end. Then engage the tongue and groove with the panel above. Tap gently underneath of the panel in order to interlock the two panels and then insert fixing clips. All our cladding panels are lockable between each other.
If you put up panels which are not, you will have to fit tailor-made joining or edging strips behind the joints. At the base of the wall, when you reach the last row near the ground, measure the width of the panel. Mark the cut line and carefully cut to fit with the jigsaw. Remove the adhesive backing paper. Position the panel edge to edge with the previous row and stick the panel in place against the initial side and the floor edging strips. Then lay the last row. You only have to use adhesive to fix the bottom row. You can also use staples to fix the panels in place. The fitting process is identical to using fixing clips. If your wall is dry and dust-free, like this scrupulously clean and degreased old tiled wall, using adhesive to lay the panels is even quicker. You use the same technique to lay the panels. The only difference is you spread MS polymer adhesive in a zigzag on the back of the panel. Position your panel immediately and press down firmly to make it stick. Proceed in the same way for the remaining rows, following the same technique to interlock the panels. The universal edging strip allows the edges of the walls, the ceiling and the ground as well as the corners to be neatly finished. When you have finished, remove the backing paper from the adhesive surface, folding the edging strip and sticking it to the PVC cladding surface. This wall coating is very easy to maintain and is suitable for damp rooms.